Hi everyone, it's RJ. My single dad diary today is just a recap of the weekend, which was uh, a great family weekend. I think I talked about my last diary taking my youngest daughter to her father-daughter dance, and uh, I had a great time. And it was always, it's always special when you do that first thing for the very first time, uh, like an event, like a dance with your daughter. I've already experienced it with my oldest daughter, and I've done, um, I think I talked about the uh, manners class, it's called Cotillion with my son, and this was my third child, my youngest daughter, and she's nine years old, and we did her father-daughter dance on Friday. And the thing I got to take away from that was, uh, it was just great, great time. At the end of the evening, she, uh, I guess she rewarded me with the nicest compliment she said to me, she goes, Dad, I just can't wait till next year. So... That was very nice, and like I said, I really do uh, appreciate these days, these times when they grow up so quickly to become young women, that uh, my little girl at nine is, is just, uh, well, I'm just going to share the pictures instead of just being this gloating father and let you, uh, you decide for yourself. Anyways, my... Other single dad diary topic is doing homework and sharing my uh, homework experience for those single dad members that are out there. I've got something to share with you. My daughter is going through multiplication and she has to go through the stages of uh, knowing all the multiplication tables. So she's on sevens. And of course, like every good dad or single parent, we I've got the flashcards. So we are going through the sevens right now, and I'm throwing her the seven times two, which is 14, the seven times five, 35, four times seven is 28, and all of a sudden she gets stuck on seven times three, which I don't understand. I mean, she's got the sevens down, and all of a sudden this seven times three is a really tough one for her to understand. So I pulled out my fatherly instincts and I said, okay, how do I help her learn this one? So I thought, okay, I go, hey Mia, dad's got this trick. Well, there's this card game that dad plays and it's called 21. It's called Blackjack 21. And one of the most sacred hands to have is you get two cards and you have to try to get as close as you can to 21. And I said, one of the most sacred hands to get is to get three sevens. Because when you get three sevens, it equals 21. So she was all excited about this new game I shared with her. And uh, we were doing the tests, and we have these little worksheets where she's got to know you know, all the tables, and we go through all of them. And um, I picked her up the other day from school, and she had her, she had her exam twice a week, and getting her to the next level. And I wanted to get a report on how she did with her her multiplications. And she came back to me and she says, Dad, I did a great job today. She goes, but I kept getting something wrong. And I go, well, what, what happened, honey? What, what, what was wrong? She says, well, the teacher came back and gave me my, my worksheet. And um, that problem you told me is wrong. I'm like, well, what do you mean what was wrong? She says, well, when I turned in my test, I got all these answers right and I'm ready to graduate to the next level and working on my eights, but I wrote down blackjack on the answer for three times seven. And now she wants you to talk to her about blackjack, 21. I was trying. All I could say is that was my fault.